Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at Markup in iOS. Now, you may be able to hear in the background I do have a bit of fan noise and that is because my Mac is currently exporting something so um, there will be the fan should be finishing soon though, um, seems like there's about a minute remaining for the process to complete, however we'll continue um, so as you may know I did a video on markup on the Mac and yes you're looking at the link in the top right hand corner of the screen right now it says a look at the interface in OS 10 Yosemite um, I went quite off topic on that video which is why most of the video is just markup so although that's the title of the video it is actually basically just markup but anyway let's get back into markup on iOS so you may know if you use it on the Mac, Markup lets you um, play around with images, you know, doodle images before you send them off as an email. Now, on the Mac, you'd usually get a little arrow in the top right hand corner of an image. However, on iOS, you, all you have to do is click on the image uh, and then click Markup, and you'll open this new window which will let you use Markup. Now, down at the bottom I've got all my various tools I can use I can obviously draw and I'm, I'm going to show you how to use that in a minute um, I've got an, another button here which is a magnifying glass oh, I'm going to show you that afterwards anyway as well simple text tool I can make text oh I've accidentally drawn something let me just undo that um, oh what's happened there it's not only undoing uh, undo Oh, it doesn't seem. Oh, there you go. Let me try undoing that now. We do. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, there you go. So, I can add text, obviously, just, you know, add t text in. However, I'm not going to do this because I've got something else I'm going to show you. Um, I can use signatures now. I'm going to show you this. If I click on this button it will prompt me to choose a new signature I haven't really set one up yet and all I have to do is sign my name so I'm just going to write my name here this isn't actually my signature so if, it, if anyone's wondering if they want to forge my signature this is not my signature just a practice one and I, it will add a little signature and I can resize it that sort of thing and this would be useful if you someone who has to sign a lot of PDFs and send them off as emails just instead of printing it off and then handwriting the signature scanning it putting it back on you can just do it right in um, mail on your iPad um, you can choose the color of my pen choose black if I want to you can choose the thickness of your pen you see you have a very fine one you have a medium sized one and you have a thick one and I can also use um, different fonts of text, change the size of my text and change the alignment of the text so that's another nice feature. Now I'm going to show you the features I was going to show you earlier. Now first one is the zoom feature. Now if I click here it adds a magnifying glass which I can drag over the portion I want. I can make it bigger or smaller using this green dot I can change the, the magnification of it so it's a nice feature to have I'm just going to make this slightly bigger put it over there and this is just a demo and the way I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the pen tool and I'm just going to draw a rough sketch of a speech bubble now as you see down here at the bottom um, next to where my name is written it will either let me just keep what I've drawn or it knows that I'm trying to draw a speech bubble and it will let me click on the speech bubble icon and it will create a speech bubble here I can resize it, I can drag it around I'm just going to do this do this here and resize it, you can change the this thing I don't know what you'd call that but oh well you can change that um, you can change the width for that thing that I was talking about and you can obviously resize it and if I double click it will actually let me type text inside it so I can type um, I hope 
Oh, I must have opened a slide over then. Oh, that's a bug. Anyway, I hope this doesn't break. As you can see, the text is way too big. As you can see, it's way too big. Oh, don't know what's doing there, but it's got life of its own. So I can just click on the text button. If this ever stops bugging out, and there you go, I can change the size of the text. And let me just do it like that. I'll just add a little exclamation mark over here. And there you go. So that's that feature which I really like using markup. So that is essentially markup on iOS. So you can use it to annotate images, um, sign PDFs, or just um, mess around with documents that you can you find in emails. Now you can also um, use this for emails and images and PDFs and stuff that you've received. So you can edit them for using notes and you know use it to make notes and add them to your notes if you'd like to. Um, click on the link in the top right corner right now to um, look at my video on notes um, for iOS and yes yeah, so that's about it for markup on iOS 9 um, if you've got any questions or comments on this video do put them down below um, you can also get in contact with me with the details that will be up at the end of the video and in the description below um, please remember to like this video um, please comment it as well if you'd like to and please subscribe to the channel uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video